Hey guys, so I want to do more spoiler free book reviews for this channel because that's kind of the reason I got into booktube was to watch those types of videos and to find more books that I hadn't heard about. Lately I feel like I have not been doing book reviews as much, like I've done a couple discussions here and there, but I haven't really done many spoiler free book reviews so I figured I would start doing that a little more often. And I'm gonna do one today for Maybe in Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is an adult contemporary novel and I have read one other Taylor Jenkins Reid novel before and it was One True Loves and I really, really enjoyed this one. She has a way of writing that keeps you engaged in the story. It doesn't really have many slow parts to it. And there's always just something hard about reading her books because she gives you two scenarios and it's really hard to determine which one the character should go with. So this book, to give you a synopsis about it, is about this woman, she's almost turning 30, so she's in her late 20s. She's kind of lived around the country her whole life. She hasn't really planted herself anywhere. And she moves back home where she grew up in LA, California. And she moves in with her best friend for the time being just to kind of get her settled. Like she desires to have some stability, to feel secure in one place, to just put down some roots. So that's why she's going back to LA where she's from. And then pretty early on in the story where the story actually I would say takes off, she goes out with her friend and there she sees her ex high school boyfriend who she always has loved. Like they didn't part things in a bad way. It was just like a time and a distance kind of thing that they ended their relationship. And the story splits at this part because we have one story of our main character, she goes home with the ex-boyfriend, and the other storyline is if our main character goes home with her best friend and how her lives end up completely different but then also the same. So it is just a really wonderful story. I kept going back and forth which storyline I liked better. Did I like it better when she was with the boyfriend or did I like it better when she went home with her best friend and everything that happened there? And it was just such an interesting read. I really loved the concept behind this book and I think that the author did a really great job expounding on it. I think the romance in this book was done really well and it was done in a realistic way. If a person was actually inserted in the situation, these are some realistic things that I think could possibly happen. Where you read some content Temporaries and it's just, yeah, that's never gonna happen. Sometimes characters don't think about realistic problems that happen, if you know what I'm saying? And this one had some of that realistic life problem elements to it that made it way more relatable. If you haven't read a Taylor Jenkins Reid book, I mean, so far I can recommend the two that I've read by her, so definitely go check this one out if it even sounds the slightest bit interesting to you. Another thing about this book, one that like I'm happy about but I'm also not so happy about, is that our main character is obsessed with cinnamon rolls and I just wanted so many cinnamon rolls. I actually made cinnamon rolls last night because this book made me crave cinnamon rolls. I wish I could have had a count for how many cinnamon rolls she either talked about or she ate in this novel because it was ridiculous and the descriptions of them were just too much to read about and that was kind of like torture. Something I also really loved about this book is that it touched on at the very end the concept of parallel universes and the multiverse theory which since reading Dark Matter by Blake Crouch last year I've been absolutely fascinated by this theory and this concept and so I loved how this story it wasn't a science fiction story but it still kind of played along that line and at the end of the book, there's this whole speech that's given that talks about that theory. And so I was just really, really excited about that because since I read Dark Matter, I've been just so interested in this. I really like how it was thrown into a contemporary novel. Like I wasn't expecting it. Kind of like for every choice you could possibly ever make, there's another universe that has you making that choice and everyone else making their infinite number of choices and just like all the different universes that exist because of all those choices. So I definitely will be reading more Taylor Jenkins read in the future. And I would love it if you could give me any recommendations to your favorite book of hers because I will probably be reading them all but just to know in what order I should be reading them. But anyway that is all that I have to say for this book review because I wanted to keep it spoiler free. Thank you so much for watching and happy reading.